Hi everyone, um, welcome to this training on how to use StreamYard to go live on different platforms online. My name is Adeze Chanumba Okeze and I am your go-to girl when you want to go live on Facebook, Instagram, or whichever platform you would like to go live with. So in this training i'm going to show you the exact way you can start using Streamyard. now uh, most of you are wondering what is Streamyard all about Streamyard is a is a live streaming studio okay it's it's not a, an app on its own that you can download on play store no it's in your browser your google chrome browser or any other browser that you use um, it, you interview guests through StreamYard. You can interview people on your live stream. You can stream your live video to different platforms at the same time. That means you can be streaming your live video on Facebook, on Inst on no, they don't normally do Instagram, on YouTube, on LinkedIn at the same time. You can share your screen. All right, with StreamYard, you can share your screen, especially for those of us who like to teach. You can use this to host your paid webinars. There is a whole lot that you can do with um, StreamYard. So today I'm going to show you how you can start using it. Now, I'm going to be doing this on mobile for a reason, because most of us use um, our smartphones a lot. And there's a lot that you can do with it. But if you want a, a better effect, you have to use um, your system, your, your laptop, your desktop. The difference is that because the way um, your mobile phone is built, a lot of things are, are small, but when you're using a system, it's, it's, it's bigger and there are some so many features that you can see easily. I'm going to be showing you how you can hack all that and use your phone. Why I like using phone is that my phone has better um, camera. So if you just have a good phone that with a, a very good camera, it's more clearer than when I use a laptop so it's the same process everything i'm going to be showing you you can do it on your phone and you can do it on your pc your laptop or even your ipad depending on what it is that you are using now why people also go for Streamyard is especially this feature whereby you can invite people to come on your live stream and you can talk with them even though other platforms like Instagram, Facebook have that um, feature where you can invite people, it's not as seamless as it is on StreamYard. So um, make sure that you have your Gmail address ready and you have a Chrome browser that is updated. If it's not updated, just go right away and update it. So um, let's go right away to Chrome. This is how you get started using streamyard.com. Make sure one that you have a Chrome browser on your on your phone or your system and you also have a working Gmail address. So go to your Chrome browser and type in streamyard.com. Uh, once you type in streamyard.com, it will bring you to this platform. Because you're getting started, you click get started. If you've already um, have an account with them, you, all you just have to do is log in. So get started. One thing I love about StreamYard is that it is so easy to use. Anybody, anyone can use it. It's, it's very, very simple to navigate and all that. So you type in your email address. You don't even need to create a password. What they are going to do is send you a login code that you will use so um, this is my email address work with a daisy at gmail.com make sure your email address is correct if not you will not see any code so get login code 
Now um, go back to your email and copy your login code. So this is my email. And let me refresh and see if my login code has come in. Yes, it's here. I love them. <laughs> they are so fast. As long as your network is good, good network. You guys know that, right? Make sure you have good network access. So I copied my code and I come back to the page and type it in. Lodge in. Voila! Welcome to Street. Yeah, their mission is to make it super easy for you to create professional live streams. And totally, that is what they do. So onward. I click onward. Now, here is a tip I want to give you. Make sure that you are signed in to the platform that you want to stream on let's say for instance i want to stream on facebook i make sure that i'm already signed in on facebook on my chrome not my app on my chrome browser or if you're streaming to youtube you know how youtube works is linked with your gmail and is open on your browser always or your you want to stream to linkedin make sure that you're already signed in now they will ask you where do you want to stream on you add the destination because Streamyard is a different software on its own as you're streaming on Streamyard, it goes directly to the platform that you want so where do i want to go i have facebook page facebook group facebook profile linkedin page youtube so let's go to my facebook profile i want to stream directly to my facebook profile um i've been using Streamyard, so it's easy for me you're going to need to give facebook access all right you know all these they are grant permissions and all that so once you choose the platform that you want to use they will bring up grant us permission and you just click yes 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 that's the only way you're going to be able to stream on that platform so because i'm going to my profile i will just choose my profile mine is already open in my phone so it's, it's it's not going to be a struggle make sure that you also do that now if you've experienced any challenge just um, put it in the comment box and let me know now you can either choose to record or you can go live directly once you record it's just to test to see how everything is or you can go live directly so they will ask you to create your broadcast create your broadcast um so when you click that create your broadcast it will bring out this this um plus button for you now because you've already selected where you want to stream assuming you want to stream to different platforms at the same time now i am using a free version I can't do that. I can only stream to one platform with my free version. If I want to stream to more than two or three platforms, I will have to upgrade. So we'll just stick with my Facebook profile. That is where I am going to stream to. So what is the title of my video? Of course, before you go live, you know what you want to talk about. So let me say live video magic. <laughs> yeah. uh, live video magic. So what is it going to be about how live video can change your business? Now, how live video can transform your brand. Okay. Let that be our description. You can add anything now. Um, if I'm having a guest on my show, what I normally do is, in fact, I schedule all my shows. Now, that's one lovely thing about this app is that you can schedule your shows and let people know, okay, this is when I'm going to go live. Now, if I'm having a guest, I schedule my show. So what I'll do is I'll do schedule for later. That means I'm not going live now. I'm just going to set everything up. So when it's time for me to go live, I'll just come and just sign in and just go live. So um, you schedule, then... You upload an image, something that you want people to be seeing while you wait. So let's see, upload a thumbnail. I didn't create any specific thumbnail. So it's normally advisable for you to 
do that before you go live make sure that you create a thumbnail that's like a photo for you check my images let me go to my canva creations mm, okay let me use this uh no 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 this one is uh no i don't want this let me change it you can always in now here is the thing before you go live like give yourself time to set this things up is not maybe your live video is scheduled to hold by four o'clock and you you are starting by 10 minutes to four to start setting this things up you you'll be late and if you stay more than 10 minutes and you're not yet live they will just remove your broadcast so apply now this is what people are going to see this is what people are going to see when you schedule your post, uh, let me say schedule for one, one o five, one p.m. and you create broadcast. Now your broadcast has been scheduled. You will see it here. Scheduled one o five p.m. So when it's time. When it, 105 reach, I'll just come into my app because it's already open, so it will still be open. Or you just log in and you just click here and you are live. So what we are going to do now, this is a scheduled live broadcast. We are going to create a live broadcast immediately. Immediately. And I'm still broadcasting to my profile, remember? Or you can decide to broadcast to any platform is the same process this is the same thing you will see when you go on your system so um our title is um stream yard how to use stream yard training training recording <gasps> recording live a description everything i love about scream yet <laughs> before you go live you already know what you want to talk about so we are not scheduling again we are just going live directly um it's to see what you to bring god it's tell you you're entering a broadcast now if you want people to join you live is it's possible now you see they are telling you the best tips for mobile is is best you use a computer but your phones and your tablets can also work so what i normally do most times is that i will just place my 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 browser on a desktop mode so let's see how to do that just tap the three buttons and you scroll that desktop site now when i Put it on desktop side it will look as if my screen is a desktop but i'm still on my phone so desktop okay now look at how this is how your screen looks like let me bring it close are you seeing this now are you seeing my scheduled um live video now this is the one i am still creating okay if you look here, you will see upcoming brokers, past brokers. If I've done any brokers before uh, on this signing, once you go to your past brokers, it will be there. You can upgrade if you want. It's about $20 a month. All right. So I want to go live now. So I'll just enter my broadcast studio. Enter my broadcast studio. Now, on your Chrome, make sure that your Chrome has um you can see my sexy face <laughs> make sure that your chrome has access that your microphone is on now when you let me bring this close is to tell you that my mic my mic is working my mic is working um let me um, i think i mistakenly play make sure it's not muted my cam my camera is showing now this is my display name what do I want people to, you can use your brand name, your business name or your name because I'm building a brand around my name. So I'm going to be a daisy, a daisy. 
live streaming. Let me, if I want, uh, I just just a day is a chinik, a day is a okay, day. um, so I'll just put that on my display name. Now, remember, this is we are using a phone, you can adjust and everything. My mic is working, uh, you see, it's telling me that I have lost connection to my mic. Um, I'll keep unmuting it because if if you're not if you're not doing that it will people will not hear what you are saying so you're muted make sure that is not muted or if you want to set it you can just go to cam and mic setting um look at your this is my camera my camera is working this is audio um everything just leave the settings as it is it's it's normally better that way if I want to add a green screen, uh, now because I'm using a phone, I'm not going to double into all that. They are not necessary. So I will unmute my Mac. Now I am entering my broadcast studio. Now this is, this is the background. This is the background. So you, you check if everything is working before you start. So everything is in order. So I'm entering broadcast studio. Now this is my broadcast studio. Remember, I'm no longer on a mobile surface. I'm now on my desktop site. Remember how we did that? If I want to change it, all I, have to do is I just go back and I remove it. But I like it this way because it helps me see all the features at the same time. Okay. Now. You're still in the background. This is where it gets more interesting. You're still in the background. Now, if you're having a guest, if you're having a guest, you have to send your guest a link. Okay? Send your guest a link. Okay? send your guests a link now these are different formats depending on how many guests you're having you can choose if you're having one guest you can choose this format or you can choose this format it's all different you can just leave the normal format just depends on you now i want to invite a guest so i'm going to make this bigger we are still in, in the round i tap those three Now, to invite a guest, now look down. When you look down, you will see um, these icons. My audio is having problems, so it's muting and unmuting itself, but I'll keep on muting it. Okay. Go down. Are you seeing this invite button? On this invite button, you tap it. Once you the invite button, you copy the link and send to your guest. You copy this link and send it to your guest. You can try to send it through email or messenger, whichever one that you want. Once you send it and the person clicks on it, when the person clicks on it, the person will appear here beside you. The person will appear right here beside you. Okay. Now, when the person appears right here beside you, it means the person is ready. Okay. You can chat. The person can hear you. You can chat for about 10 to 15 minutes. I hope you guys can see this. I just hope you can see it. But if you just try it, you will see everything I'm showing you. So you can just, um, you know, chat with the person for five to 10 minutes before you're ready. And make sure you always give your guest ample time, like 10 minutes before the show so that you can get comfortable you know, before you go live together. Okay, the person will appear right here before beside you. And what you have to do is you tap on it. You see, immediately I tap. Immediately I tap. I began to show on the bigger screen. This is a studio. I began to show on the bigger screen. Immediately I tap here. Okay, now I want to move myself so that uh, people won't see me. I would just, um, I would just remove. Once you tap here, you you will see it. You will see add to stream. 
and it just adds you. It means now you are ready to go. Like you know, you're like now your guest appears here too. When your guest appears beside you, you do the same thing. You tap. And once you tap, the, the person's picture will show beside you. My browser is having a problem with my mic, so I'm going to check what the problem is to make it correct. So I go to my settings, um, site settings. Um, camera is, let me just give it direct access is, is is everything is on everything is on okay I think I put ax first before allowing sites so let me see a uh, microphone is blocked uh, I'll just leave it on like that and see stream yard who and who am i allowing my stream yard is allowed you see my settings is okay so stream yard is allowed so what is the problem so i've checked my settings everything is working in order so i just um go uh, sometimes this could be the result of network okay and it's working in all right, it's working again. My browser is, is losing connection. Now this is this is as a result of um network, but uh, I'll keep changing it. Now this is how people will be seeing you on your Facebook platforms. This is how people will be seeing you on your Facebook. Now if you have someone who is coming to the show, the person will be beside you. Now something I love about Shared is that you can use it to, you know, train people. So um, uh, but whenever I want to share my screen, that's something I want to. I want to share my screen. I don't use my phone. I use my system because <laughs> uh, this is just a hack. So is everything is the same when you also go to your system. So if you want to share your screen, you just look down. You will see share screen. Okay, you will see share screen, and it will because this is a phone. You're not doing what to do. It take you directly to the screen that you want to share okay it will take you directly okay do i want to share a video video file what is it what do i want to share or do i want to share maybe something that i i wrote so let's um share my screen maybe i will show you something that i wrote okay now, because this is a phone, they are asking me to share, um, to add Chrome extension. I don't have strength to come and start adding Chrome extension. But if it's on your system, it doesn't normally ask you that. So uh, let me see. Uh, let me see if I can share a video file. This is, um, this is my phone. Um, let's see. Where are my videos? What videos do I have? Here, mm, what videos did I? Okay, uh, <laughs> okay, let me share this video with you guys and see how it looks. Now, because you're just starting, don't um, stress yourself. <laughs> just go ahead and do what it is you want to do. Now, we are ready and set. We are ready and set. You've seen all the settings. Um, my mic is still muted, but I think it's because of network. My network is a bit slow. So, you're going to meet that. So, you have to be missing it. So, I'm ready to go live. Look at the top right. See? This is right corner. You will see go live. But let's do some things before we get started with going live. Now, um, there are some features at the right hand side. I don't know if it's right hand side. There are some features. When you pay, you see this um uh, StreamYard logo. When you pay, you remove it totally, and you can put in your own logo. But the only place I normally go to if I'm streaming through my free platform is I go to brand. Okay, it, it gives you color. Okay, you can choose your brand color, whichever color that you want. Um, this is not all the brand colors, I forgot to share it. You can choose black. Let me see if I still have. Uh, damn it. I'm just going to forge color. 
okay i just have to call you must know your color code you just go to google and just find the color code and you type in your color code and this is the color code i am going to be choosing okay um now i can decide to have an intro 30 seconds intro now this is the one that they give you can decide to select it um you can also decide to select a background of your logo but all these are upgraded options uh, because this is not an upgraded access is a free access that you can do that you don't really need all this but just put in your color and you are set to go okay you see you see as i put in the color my name just appear on that color okay my mic is giving me problem okay, what i'm going to do is i'm going to get my earpiece but since my system mic is not working i'm just going to get my earpiece and just use it to work Okay, guys um we are back i've tried to do the settings and see if the mic but it keeps telling me my browser has locked connection to my mic so it's my browser and i don't know i'm using the mic set but i'll just just keep trying most times you just have to off your phone and restart your phone so let's get back to the broadcast studio and on and we are ready to go live Okay, and if people are chatting, this is where you're going to be seeing all the chats that um, are coming in. All right, so um, we are ready to go live on the top left corner and you click go live. Once we are live, um, we will be notified that we are live. So I have the go live button. Are you ready to go live? Yes, I'm ready to go live. Yes, now we are live. You are told that you are live and and you start talking hello 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 guys can you hear me it's your favorite girl at this channel number okay zero i'm here to show you how you can perform magic with live videos now this is this is a stream okay so i'm just testing, testing i'm recording how to use last stream stream yeah to go live whether on facebook now remember right now i am on facebook i will talk 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 and say all the things that i want to say so what you do on the streaming live platforms and by the time i am true what i do is I'll just end my people are that Who's calling me on the phone Sorry, I'm back. Well, uh, this is how we play on stream <laughs> and my but it's fine mm -hmm. okay. so we live and that's how to go live and now I am true. What? I have not ended my broadcast. I just ended the broadcast. Oh my god. Now the broadcast has ended. When the broadcast ends, you will still be in the studio. Alright? You will still be in the You can just close down. But here's something about um, StreamYard. You can decide to download what you have streamed. Okay? by clicking on links on these links or you can view it on facebook you can decide to download but if you're starting i think you can download a few videos but after a while if you don't upgrade you will not be able to do that so you can decide to download a video or you can decide to view it on facebook now because i'm actually live streaming i'll just remove myself if you have yes and just also remove your guests and you are true you return to dashboard and you can decide to sign out if you want and or you can decide to leave yourself here uh, just depends on you and what you want to do so guys um that is it if you have any questions drop it in the comment box and i will get back to you bye bye